In the world of software, there's a distinction between a major release and a minor release. So, for example, Lightroom 6 to Lightroom 7 would typically be a major release, and Lightroom 7.1 to 7.2 would be a minor release. And yet, the newly released Lightroom 7.2 features some rather compelling features. <laughs> To begin with, there are some performance improvements. You might have heard about performance improvements recently in Lightroom because Adobe has really focused on improving overall performance, and that's no different with the 7.2 release. In this case, the benefits are really for those with computers that have 12 gigabytes or more of RAM, of memory. And you'll see improvements in importing and browsing photos and a variety of other areas. So that performance boost focus on the part of Adobe with Lightroom continues, thankfully. In addition, there are some new features that I'm very excited about related to folders. One of my frustrations with Lightroom has always been that I can't necessarily find the folder I want because I essentially can't apply metadata directly to folders. I can assign star ratings, for example, to photos, but not to folders. But now we have a way to get to specific folders faster and more easily within Lightroom. Let's take a look at that. So first and foremost, I can identify favorite folders. So if this particular folder represents a favorite trip, for example, I could right click on that folder and then choose the option to mark this folder as a favorite. I can see that there's a little star indicating that is a favorite folder. Then I can scroll down, maybe identify another folder as a favorite as well. So I'll right click and choose mark as favorite for that folder as well. But the real magic is searching for folders. I can now filter the list of folders very similar to the way we can filter keywords on the keyword list. I'll scroll back up to the top of the folders list here and you'll see there is now a search field. So I can click into that search field and I'll search, for example, for Austria, pressing enter or return on the keyboard to apply that change. And you'll see now all of the folders, in this case, multiple folders from multiple trips to Austria. And so I'm able to locate those folders based on that filter, that search essentially very easily. Taking that a step further though, I can search not just by all folders, but just based on my favorite folders. If you click on the magnifying glass, that's actually a pop-up over toward the left of the search field, I can choose between all, in other words, search among all folders, or only search among my favorite folders. And so now, for example, I'm seeing only folders that are favorite folders that also include the text Austria in this case. If I clear out that search, so I'll clear out the Austria text, and you can see that now I'm only seeing the folders that are marked as favorites because I selected that option from the pop-up to the left side of that folder search option. Note, by the way, that the full folder structure is displayed. So the Austria 2016 folder that I marked as a favorite is being presented, of course, but the parent folder, in this case, just an Austria folder that is the parent to that favorite folder is also being presented because it is part of that overall path, that overall folder structure. And then, of course, when I'm finished looking at only my favorites, I probably want to switch that pop-up back to all so that I can see all of my folders once again. In addition, it is now easier than ever to create a collection based on a folder or a collection set based on a group of folders. Let's take a look at that. I can right click on a folder and you'll see that I now have the option to create a collection based on that folder. This will create a collection with all of the photos in this folder being included in the collection. So if, for example, you're synchronizing selected collections and you want to review all of the photos in a given folder, you could very quickly and easily create a collection based on that folder. Now, note, by the way, you could always perform this task of creating a collection based on a folder by dragging the folder from the folders list down to the collections list on the left panel in the library module, but now you can create that same collection with a simple right click. In addition, we can create collection sets 
based on a folder structure. So here, for example, we see that Austria folder once again with multiple Austria folders for individual trips down below, subfolders inside of that Austria folder. I can right click on the parent folder and then choose the option to create a collection set. So not just a collection based on specific photos within a folder, but a collection set based on a parent folder. So that gives us great additional flexibility for collections as well as folders. Finally, we have a new option for filtering or searching for photos. What I find is that very often my favorite photos get assigned a star rating, of course, but my real favorite photos are those that I've applied some adjustments to. And now we can filter based on that status. I'll go ahead, for example, and navigate to a folder that I want to search in. And then I'll press the backslash key on the keyboard to bring up the grid view if I wasn't already in the grid view display, and perhaps more importantly, to bring up the library filter bar. You can see at the moment I have a filter based on star ratings set, so a one or more star rating as the filter, and that has taken the total number of photos down from 4,201 images to just 52. That can certainly help me locate a favorite photo, but again, the photos that are really my favorites, I've probably applied adjustments to in the develop module, and so I might want to filter based on that status. On the attribute tab here with the library filter bar, we have two edits options. The first button means filter if edits have been applied to the image, and the second button means filter for images where no edits had been applied. So in this case, turning on the option to see only images that have had edits applied to them, I'm down to just 15 images. Note, by the way, that when you filter based on whether an image is edited, applying a preset to the image counts as having been edited. In other words, if you apply a preset during import, then every image that you imported, at least for that import operation, will count as having been edited. So in that case, this filter might not have all that much utility. Note, by the way, that we can also go to the Metadata tab and we can choose Edit from the pop-up for one of the columns, and that will give us that same edited versus unedited status as one of our filter criteria. So, a variety of what I think are perhaps relatively minor but incredibly helpful new features in the Lightroom 7.2 update.